Jerry, this place is beautiful. Really? I'm telling you, the woman that rented is a problem to me. I was traveling to the US. Guess what? I'm ready to fly, bro. Jerry, let's go. We are running late. Okay. Vincent, your food is almost ready. Food? Mm hmm. What food? Did I tell you I was hungry? Jerry! Huh? Huh? Are you hungry? Did you tell her you were hungry? No. I can't remember telling her anything like that. You heard him, we're not hungry. So that reminds me, when you're ready to leave, can you lock my doors? Lock my windows, most especially the backyard door. Lock it. Thank you. Hey, baby. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Jerry. Oh, you're Jerry? Yeah. Is that your friend? Good to see oh. You. Good to see you. Such a great smile. Baby, you look so beautiful. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, not at all. Mm -mm. Okay, can we go now? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Hear me? There's nothing to tell me. Listen, I have to go now. When you're done, lock my doors, my windows, the kitchen, the back here. Make sure you lock it. What is this thing about the door and the angels? Have I ever left them open? Yeah, let's have another walk. Hey, oh guy, do I'm going to let you avoid fire with me? Yo, uh, yo, uh.
pants on the beach. Bro, she just passed me right now. Yeah, she just passed me right now. Yeah. I said she drove past me right now. I'm going to meet her at my place. Okay. I'm in a hurry, yeah. Okay, I'll see you, I'll see you. Alright. So baby, what's up? What's been keeping you? How you doing, baby? Why are you not taking your calls? Sorry, darling. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, your call came at the wrong time. Wrong time? Yeah. What do you mean wrong time? Um, do you remember the contract I told you with the Ministry of Niger Delta Affair? Uh, that has to do with safety material supply or something? Exactly. Maybe I was called by the office today to defend my LPO. And while I was doing that, while I was with the panel, your call came in. And I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's fine. It's, it's alright. But guess what, honey? What, baby? I sealed the contract. Really? Uh huh. That's what's up. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations. Yeah. So what's up? Did you come with the stuff? Hmm. Have I ever failed you? No. So did you come with the stuff? Of course I did. So let's go get Trust me. Why are you in a hurry? Let's so let's go get the stuff. Yeah. Okay. I know we're not supposed to go against the rules of the game. Yeah. But for a minute. Bro, I felt for Shana, man. I never expected she was gonna give me that huge sum of money. I, I began to have feelings for her. Did I hear you all? Why are you talking about feelings? I have a no, 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 do not mess this job up. You have to maximize your selling point. That is the rule of the game. Money is strictly business. Yeah, I can understand. We have to maximize our selling points because I know where I'm coming from. I know what I've been through in the past. I'm, I'm not trying to cut corners or anything, but I just want to tell you that she's caring. All right? But then again, I, I know the rule. We're not supposed to fall in love. We're not supposed to... In fact, our hearts are blocked, you know, stuff like that. So, so that's it. It's all about the money. No sentiments. Hearts are blocked. Just stupid business, right? So you got that. Hey. Hi. Wow. Hi. Um, okay. I missed you. Uh -huh. Mmm. Where is this coming from? What? Where is it coming from? Jerry, hmm? did you just read it? Did put it something? Actually, it's something bigger than that. But trust me, you wouldn't like to hear the details. Try me, you would find it. If you're serious about this, then let's do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. What was the last time I showed you that? Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm sure you want some more though, right? <laughs> wow, she wants some more. She wants some more. <laughs> Sir. Okay, fine. Listen, baby. Go upstairs. Have a shower. Okay. Chill. I'm going to meet you up soon. All right? Let me give that to you. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you soon. Yeah? All right.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm sorry about that. That was my kid sister. Very, very respectful. Well, she wouldn't be in the same environment with me and my girl. Trust me, she thinks it's very rude. Yeah. <clears throat> she's my mother. Oh, yes, she's a very good girl. Our parents straight her work. So, this is my house. It's my hole, my cheek hole. This is where I come up from. Yeah. So, I know it's, uh, you're not used to a place like this, and you actually expected to see something better. But trust me, just make yourself comfortable, right? Trust me, this is not bad at all. Really? Thank you. So, so, how's it gonna be? How? I mean, what will I offer you? Well... Listen, okay. my sister, she loves to cook. She never wants to see me hungry. So I'm sure she needs some soup. Um, make a choice. What do you want? You want something to drink, something to eat? I don't think there's something to drink. But just make a choice. <laughs> Thank you, very funny, but... Thank you, Papa. Really? Yep. Um... Why? Well... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think you really need to be very careful of what you ask. Because a sheep does not invite a lion for a dance. I'm sure you know what that means. This sheep wants to feel the claws of this lion. Are you serious? Have you seen a lion angry before? Like, ah! You don't want me to have this pecky and you just tell me. After I never forced you to give it to me in the first place. Miracle, whatever you call yourself, please give him my pecky. Hmm? Since your unlimited access into my house is beginning to cause problems. You're beginning to accuse me of having something to do with my business associates. Just because they're the women. Business associates. You know what, Vincent? I don't care what you do with them. I don't care! But there's a limit to what a woman can endure. Me. Look at me. Look at me, look at me good. You're not serving a jail term on my house. If you're tired of seeing my things, if you're tired of what happens around me, you can gladly take a walk. In fact, you have my blessings. Do you hear me? Like it. You know your actions and suspicions force me to say the wrong things to you, right? Four million naira cash is sitting in my account right now. Jerry, do you know when that girl said she was gonna make that quick transfer? I thought it was a joke, man. I'm serious. I'm serious, man. Baba, you don't hammer. So what do you do with the money now? We? 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 I'm your consultant now. Don't make this shit again. If you teach me the game, why you never blow? Why you never hammer? Well, you know, I, I know the poor man. I'm a poor man before. <laughs> I know you're a big boy, man. Just pardon I'm me. Try, I'm try. Hey, bro, listen. 
I need to make this real. Do you understand? I need to repackage myself. In other words, I need a car. I'm tired of lying to these women that I own a car. In the end, they don't, they don't see it. I need to make it real, bro. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Bro. Let's go get a car. See, don't get me. I can't go get the car right now. Maybe I can't think about my way to Port Do you understand? So I need to be out of circulation for at least seven days. So wait, wait, wait. So what you're trying to tell me? Don't lock yourself in here for seven days. Well, seven days, yes. But seven nights, no. <laughs> You know me, man. I know you, man. What do you, you do me fear? Wait a minute, she's not going to call. She's not going to see. No, she thinks I'm in Port Harcourt right now. So I don't want her to come and see. If she sees me, you don't gasp. So I don't want her to come and see me. Hey, no, 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 So you lied to me about relocating to Abish. My sister, you won't understand. I, I, I... Who is your sister? Am I your sister or your girlfriend? <laughs> Um, since you calm down, it's not what you think. Oh, please, Jerry, or whatever you call yourself. I wasn't talking to you. I know that you're the one misleading me. I mean, who doesn't know your story this time? How you deceived two sisters and got them pregnant. <laughs> so, this is funny, Vincent. No, no, no. I gave you my heart. And the money I worked so hard to make. And the best way to repay me is to deceive me. Baby, I did deceive you. I didn't deceive you in any way. I actually got a job with the Ministry of Internal Affairs. And I've been trying to make things work. Things haven't been working. Story for the gods. I, I, I'm not telling lies. You are lying. And even this one that calls us Jerry. You know that it is a fat lie. Um, Madam, where are you coming from? You're gonna just walk in here and try to embarrass us. Who are you? Hold on. Let me tell you. Vincent has a piant and he so much loves her. Loves her. Hmm. Okay, listen, my friend Jerry just told you the truth. Alright? I actually have a girl I love and I want to get married to her. In fact, she's my fiance and she's right behind you. So if you don't mind, I think you need to leave right now or I'm going to push you out. My friend, will you get out of my house? You have to you go to lay your hands on me. After eating my own, you will suffer. I will have you arrested and locked up in a dark place. You will pay every dime. I will deal with you. Leave my house. I will deal with you this time. Deal with you. Watch this. What's going on? Calm down. Everything is under control. The lady actually wanted to lure Vincent to bed. When he refused to play ball, she became embittered, and ever since she acted funny, following him everywhere he goes. Can you imagine? I can tell you. Can you imagine? Is it by force? I don't want to sleep with you. I do not want to sleep with you. Is it by force to sleep with a woman? Baby, can you imagine that? She wants to sleep with her. This is absolute rubbish. Vincent. Damn!
Jacob ignored this girl for too long and it's not proper. Moreover, it's too early for her to suspect any foul play. So do not allow her to, to, to start having that impression. Jen, I swear, if I pick this call right now, I don't know what to tell her. But I thought you had everything figured out. I thought so too, but but when my head don't fall down, eh? Vincent, pick this phone and call her back. Tell her something. Just come up with something that will make her not feel like her. that. Will erase whatever negative ideas that she has. Um, you know, concerning your attitude. Yes, call her. Call her back. Talk to her. You, you know, try and erase all the negativities. She would have started getting by virtue of attitude. Yeah, hi, baby. I'm sorry I haven't been able to keep in touch, alright? Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, the truth is, I've been very busy. I know that's not a good excuse, but... I've not been able to coordinate myself because I've been having issues. Yes. No, no, no. They... Yes, I've been having issues, which is why I'm in Lagos right now. They told me my documentation is incomplete. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I came to collect my papers at the uh, Institute of uh, Safety Professionals, which I must tender to evaluation in three days time or else I kiss the contract goodbye. Baby, listen, the questions are too, you know what, can I call you back? One of the officials just stepped out right now, so I need to catch up with him to get what I want. Alright, let me call you back in the next five minutes, please. Alright, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. Nice one. You're such a crook. Do you know, at, at a point in time, I almost didn't believe in what you're saying. So if I'm a crook, what are you? A bigger crook? Thank God. At least today, you are seeing by yourself that I am the best. Where is he? Is it serious? But where is he? I really don't think it's that serious because I felt his neck. Wait, I have to get some job, okay? Please, I have to go on the back of the end. The family sit down the street. Okay, let's go so we can. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Back in a minute. You know what? Don't worry, me. I'll be back, okay? Relax. Just feel free. I'm coming back, okay? Hi. Vincent. I'm good. I was telling you down here. But you don't look it. That was just a trick to send her away so I could talk to her. 
Why would you join me right now? Okay, let's see how this thing works. So, pilots and flaws. I don't get you. Okay. I had to do what I did just to have a minute with you. Listen, I'm gonna go to the chase, okay? Let's not spend time on the budget. You understand? I'll just go straight to the easy roads. There's some time now. You see, I like you a lot. Alright? Yeah, I know you sound kind of crazy because you're a friend to my girlfriend and uh, the delegate. She had it. I really like Did you really make me just stand in every word? And in fact, that was why I had to go that far. Yeah. Do what I had to do. And I wish, you know, can you know, make use of this opportunity. Will you get those hands off me? What is wrong with you? How could you? Do I sound crazy? Yes! Crazy! That's what you are. How could you? How could you have the heart to tell me this sort of nonsense when you know that miracle is my sister to me? We are innocent. Someone needs to tell you something. We found a way to put all over our eyes. But let me tell you something. I am not a miracle. Oh, you do not deserve an angel like Miracle. She's ten times better than all those numerous ladies you've been throwing around town with. But let me tell you something. I am not Miracle. Now listen to me. My girlfriend is on her way back. So you're going to pretend nothing happened between us. Even if you tell her anything, she's not going to believe you because she's in love with me. And she believes anything I tell her. So do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? Hi, you're home, Miracle. I forgot the money for the drugs. Oh, really? Um, my... I, I have an emergency. My aunt. Yes, my aunt. She just called. I hope there's no problem. Come on, no problem. Uh, I just need to see her. You know what? I'll, I'll just drop you. Let's go. Come on. After you, there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank God I've got you on the phone. Your your number was unreachable. Yes, Miracle. Vincent had a fatal accident. I tried to call you. Yeah, the doctor said it's an important accomplished. Yeah. Yeah, we are in safe way hospital. Don't worry, he will surely survive. He will. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the hospital. Okay. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Just give me this. Give me this. Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. It's alright.
The condition is critical, I must say. But doctor, do whatever you can to save his life. I don't want him to die. He's the only friend I have. This doctor, you have to promise me that. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Just calm down. Okay? okay? Excuse me. It wasn't easy, but I managed. Even your house rains. Your landlord is gonna try your thing to me. He didn't think you were gonna make it. But my house rent wasn't there. Please end. Your rent has been due for months. Well, I... I bored. Got a little help here and there. It wasn't easy. I couldn't watch you die. Very good. I wouldn't want to say he did it, but that will be a story for another day. I need you to tell me something. Why have you been unfair to me? After all my efforts to make you happy. Why do you prefer with these leaders that deserted you when you needed them the most? We need you to tell me the truth, no matter how much it will hurt. I need to hear it. Do you really want to know? Tell me everything. Honey, I missed you. Hi, baby. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. I missed you so bad. Oh, I miss you way more, baby. I would have flown in chocolate to your rig if I knew the way there. Really? Uh huh. Don't tell me two weeks was too difficult for you to handle. It's been like ages. Do you know how boring this house gets? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry, very soon you're gonna be a very busy woman. But before that, mm -hmm. Maybe my favorite because I missed it just like I missed it. Mm. Mm. Alright. How have you been? Good. Missed you. Miss you too. No more cigarettes today. Baby, what are you doing? Things don't work like that. You can just take away the secret from my back. Now this one, you said you weren't going to exit plastics or cigarettes there. Now this one here is your seven. Okay, wait a second. Have you been counting how many cigarettes I smoke in a day? Okay, trust me. Just this one last time and I won't touch it again. Under one condition. Right, one condition. Right. 
this drink, you're not gonna touch it. And when we get home, you, my darling, you're cooking dinner. Look, baby, you just said one condition and you're giving me two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. You can have a drink. No, I just want to. Okay. Please. Mm -mm. Please. Mm -mm. No more of this. No more. All right. Mm -hmm. No. No stick. No, no. no, no. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Chef! There we are. I'm sorry, dear. That's painful. Yeah, that reminds me, baby. There's this plot of land. I'm living in the garden. Mm. Okay. According to what I was saying, I feel good side. I'm gonna make my cards for six million Okay. Hey, yeah. I can't believe you've been on the street. And it feels like just two days. Then again, that's what every week worker. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? Um, okay, please. Who's this? This is Dr. Festus. Do I? Oh, there we go. It's a lie. Where have you been? Are you now a doctor? Yes. I acquired my PhD exactly five years ago. Of course, you know how much I've always wanted to get to the highest height of academic attainment. Yes. So, um, who are you now? And how did you get my number? I'm in Abuja at the moment, and I met with your mother a couple of hours ago. She gave me your number. Oh, so sorry for the demise of your father. He was such a good man. My role Thank you. Uh, I'll be in Port Harcourt in a couple of weeks or thereabout for a capacity development program with the National Orientation Agency and some civil society groups. I hope to see you when I visit. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Uh, good, good. This is one of my numbers. Call me anytime. Oh, I will, I will. Good. Please extend my greetings to your husband. I will. It was nice talking <laughs> to you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye, bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> Baby, I'm home! Hey, baby, what took you so long? You've been at the door like forever. Okay. Sorry, I was on the phone when you got back. That's alright. I was actually waiting for you in the room so I could show you the stuff I got for you. I was making your dinner. But I'll see you later. Okay. So shall we? Cause let's go and eat because I'm really, really hungry. Uh I'm filled up now. But just go on and eat. I have something I need to tell you in the room. You're not eating? Yeah. I'll go to the library tomorrow. <laughs> I did research actually. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, stop it. Yeah, okay. All right, there. All right. Jesus. Hello? Uh, sorry, uh, it was in my side. I'm off to the cell, but when I'm back, you let me know why you prefer the living room. I became very confused and worried because the neck I fell in love with became someone I barely even knew. Two years of our marriage, I never touched another woman because she was my world. I just couldn't handle the thought of loving any other woman. I couldn't imagine the thought of living without a neck, even for a day. Hello, darling. What are you cooking? Nothing. So tell me, why have you been acting strange lately? Please, darling, let's talk about this later. Don't mess up this happy mood, okay? Just go, sit down in the living room and wait for me. Besides, I got you something. It's on the dining table. You go check it out. Okay.
Yes. You know, my heart sank when I woke up this morning and couldn't find you anymore. For some reasons, I thought you had left me. Why would you imagine a thing like that? I don't know. It just kind of slides through my mind. Well, I woke up with fresh ideas very early this morning. So I came down here to put them down before I lose them. Okay. That's nice. So tell me about your book, how far have you gone? Since you're making progress, huh? Yes, someone has been helping me with ideas. Someone has been helping you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that sounds nice. I mean, I'm glad you're making progress at least. You know, sometimes I, I just wish I, I had a flair for writing, you know, like I had a thing for writing. I could have helped out, you know that, right? Hold on, I'm coming. Good day, young man. I hope I'm in the right department. Who are you, please? Are you Mr. Wobody Vincent? That's right. I am Dr. Festus Noah Odoringen. Your wife's godfather. My wife? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think she talked about you sometime. Come on, come on. Thank come you. On. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. What a nice place you got. You're welcome, sir. So cozy and peaceful and safe. Hi, you're welcome, sir. Nigga, you have grown into such a beauty queen in all of a sudden. Eh? This is wonderful. Honestly, the last time I met her, she was a, a, a body side, eh? a promising young girl. But then, oh, wonderful. This is good. This is unbelievable. <laughs> But he came back after a few days. It was a weekend, so we had all the time in the world to entertain him. I was amazed by his intelligence. He was self-development. He's this kind of man that you you would spend seven days with, thinking you had spent seven hours. Ten days later, my professor called me and told me that I had been transferred to to a rig in the coast of Guinea. That my company had won a drilling contract. To me, it was it was my money. I was very happy. I was also happy because my wife was productively engaged. And she had a godfather that she could talk to whenever she needed professional help. <sighs> Baby! 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 Baby, I'm home!
Jesus. <laughs> Are you back? Yeah. Uh, you came back today? No. Uh, I went to my friend's house yesterday. And it got late, so I didn't know when it got late, so I I decided to sleep over. Does that explain why your films were turned off? Uh my my phones were dead, so so I decided to charge them through the night. How can both films die at the same time? I mean, we always have light here. There's an inverter. There's a big generator. So what are you talking about? What are you saying? <laughs> at that point, I knew things had gone bad. She couldn't even give me a straight answer. She walked out of the room very, very angry because she knew she was guilty. Things began to degenerate as we fought and quarreled non-stop. At some point, I had it up to here. I just couldn't handle who she had become. I had no choice but to move in with my friend thinking she would change. Miracle, the next thing I got was false papers. That was when I took the decision of becoming who I am today. I wanted to hit back at every girl, every single girl. I left Port Harcourt for Lagos because I wanted to rip off every single rich girl. You see? But when I met you, everything changed. I had this special feeling just like I had for Neg. But then again, I fought it because I, I, I didn't want to go back and love him just like I did before. I was not ready to fall in love again. I kept on fighting that feeling. But it kept coming back. Although you didn't have what I was after. You didn't have money. But then again, I just couldn't let you go. Miracle. I feel so ashamed of myself. I am not proud of all I have done. I want you to forgive me. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am a changed man. You've been talking for more than 10 minutes now. And um, I don't seem to understand what you're driving at, what you're seeing. I don't understand. Jerry, what I'm trying to say is this. I am no longer that Vincent you used to know. I really want to thank you for everything you've done for me. I just want to thank you for your efforts during my accident. But I think we need to change our bad ways. 
if possible, give our lives to Christ. Eh? <laughs> I was this close to death. But somehow I survived. And I'm very thankful. I really want to give change a chance. Jerry, I want to turn. And I expect you to do the same thing. Sorry about the other day. I was only being stupid, you know, reasonable. Please forgive me. Is that why you've been looking for me? One of the reasons. I can't find Miracle. Miracle is nowhere to be found. I've been calling her for the past one week. She's not taking my calls. I need your help. Go to her place then. I don't know her place. Yes. Listen, she told me you live on the streets. And trust me, I've been here since morning, flagging cars down. To see if I could see. I'm lucky to have seen you. So you mean you don't know where your girlfriend stays? I'm not proud to say it, but I do not know where she lives. I need your help, please. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You talk to me tomorrow? That's it? Yeah. Sorry. I don't have your phone number. How do I contact you? I know where you live. So much of it. it just messes everything up. Listen, I swore to myself that I was gonna treat women like shit. But right now, I'm a change man. And I'm ready to leave for my sins. So what do you intend to do about self-care? I'm ready to take everything. I have the resources to do that. I don't care if I'm left with nothing. I believe that if it wasn't for miracle, I would have been a bad man like that. I'm so ashamed of myself. Rose, please.
grills. Please, I need to see you. Come down to your house or hotel. I just need to see you. Just relax. You worry too much. Ah. Huh? Should I wait for you in the car here? Rose, don't you think you can come back to do whatever you can do? I just want to see where I Alright, let's just go. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Let's go. Let's go. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, bro. How are you? You're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Oh, you must be Vincent. Yes, sir. My name is Vincent. Good. My daughter has told me all about you. I am Chief Gabi Otis, Miracle's father. Oh. Sir, that, that name is very popular. Sir, do you mean Otis Oya? By the grace of God. Margaret. Margaret. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go call my daughter and get them something to drink. Um, sir, that won't be necessary. Young man, sir. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. My daughter will be with you in a minute. Oh. So I was trying to say, the guy just sat there with his bald head. And he was just looking at me and he was like, you thought I gave him something to do with you. Oh. No, he has a son as big as you. Yo, you can imagine that kind of what thing. What did you tell him? And I told him, well, he's my father and I'm his son, so. Auntie? Yes? Your father wants to see you. So. Okay. Um, is my friend Bruce here? Yes. My two fine brother. No. <laughs> Wait, are you jealous? Oh, come on, it's my ugly. No, 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 no. I'm a fine ass. Yeah. Ugly you know. care. No, wait, let me go sit down. All right. Uh, wait. I want you to come with my brain thing. Okay. Uh, I will. And yeah, that will give me time to scrutinize. Don't scrutinize him off. I. You're fine. <laughs> That is Vincent. This is my dad. We have already introduced ourselves. Oh, okay. Vincent, you see, Miracle is my only daughter. And I am very proud of her. Because she is the best daughter in the whole wide world. She is very selfless, born as you mean, productive, independent, and very homely. With all the maids and cooks in this house, she still does her number, does her cooking by herself. She has Two vehicles packed outside. A Jeep and a sedan. She refuses to use them. She prefers to live a very simple life. I call her my best friend because she understands me and knows how to take care of me. <laughs> you 
I know you. Is this Vincent? Y yes, that's him. This is Vincent? Do you know him? If I know Vincent? <laughs> no way. It's not happening. Listen, Father. This man is a womanizer. He is not for real. And the only thing that's going to make sense to me right now is that he leaves this house this instant. Please! Listen, I know what I'm doing. Do you understand that? I know what I'm doing. But this man is not what you think he is. I'm not having this. And now Chris is taking you. But you don't even seem to understand what I'm saying. Saying that this man is a woman. I... Why do I keep saying that? This man is an unrepentant Casanova. He is a chronic womanizer, a diehard player. And there is no way he's going to have anything to do with my sister. Now listen. I can understand from your own point of view. But there's something I want to tell you, Chris. You just need to listen to me. Alright, fill me in. I'm listening. You see, I know this young man. So much. Even more than he knows himself. You see, I have a lot to tell you about him. Take it easy. With all due respect, Father, you're not making any sense to me right now. What are you saying? The financial projection there is not realistic at all. And you think so? I know so. Customer pays up the only company will not put up the company's hands before arriving at those figures. Well, well as uh as my financial analyst will advise me today. I'm serious! I'm not in Lagos, I'm not sure you're aware of you. Do you know this guy? Yeah. You miss this me. guy is the worst Casanova I've ever seen in my life. I'm surprised you don't know him. Me? You miss me? You miss me? Okay, tell me two things you miss about me. Can I call you back? Wait, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Hi, baby. I missed you. I missed you. Mm, missed you too. How have you been? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. Oh, you didn't even remember that I'm around. Uh, I'm... How have you been? So what are you guys doing here? Um, we just came in here, and we actually trying to order for something. Before you came in. You see, in one week, I had the story of his life in my head. I don't understand. Do you know why I believe in Chris? I don't. I was like him, but your mother saved me. God bless her soul. Oh, Vincent, do you know why I gave her the name Miracle? She was supposed to die at birth. The doctor said the survival of, of the mother and child was very uncertain. But she defied medical diagnosis and survived. But unfortunately, the mother was not that lucky. I love my children. That was why I refused to remarry. I don't want any woman to come between my children and I. Miracle is a bundle of joy to me. She's a living miracle. 
So, Vincent, if I decide to wipe the slate clean, will you be able to love and take care of Miracle like I do? So I promise you all honesty that I will. Good. Chris, let's bury the past and give them a chance. I'm ready for the words because I do not deserve this. Miracle. I did a lot of things to me that I'm very proud of. I knew before you and your father asking for your forgiveness. I am so sorry. I am deeply sorry for all that I've put you through. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. That's okay. Get up. Get up, come on. That's all right. Very well. I... I learned you have a master's degree. First thing tomorrow morning, you go to the headquarters of Otis Holding Conglomerate on the island. You mean Mr. Dokovic is a German. And they will know what to do with you. Well, I want to give you a job so that you will be able to take care of my daughter. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this opportunity, please. Thank you. It's all right, get up. Now listen to me, I don't know what spell you must have cast on my father, but it will not work for me. Do you understand that? Now I'm going to warn you personally, don't hurt my sister. If you as much as hurt my sister, I swear to God, I'll have your head on a platter. Do you understand that? I'm warning you for the last time, I have my eyes on you. <laughs> 